centrifugal pump working centrifugal pumps pump liquid by means of the centrifugal force developed by rotation of an impeller the kinetic energy imparted to the liquid by impeller rotation is converted to potential energy by making the liquid to flow through a volute casing in volute pumps a diffuser in turbine pumps for explanation the centrifugal pump representation above shows both guide vanes and the volute let us understand the basic stages through which the liquid is pumped liquid enters the pump through the inlet connection and enters the impeller the impeller rotates and imparts energy to the liquid and delivers it at a higher velocity to the diffuser the vanes of the diffuser are tangential to the impeller in the diffuser the velocity energy is converted to pressure energy the volute completely surrounds the diffuser and serves to collect the liquid and to recover additional velocity energy the liquid is then expelled through the discharge having understood the basic principle let us view the flow of liquid through the 3d model of one a volute pump two a turbine pump volute pump shown aside is a model representation of a typical volute type centrifugal pump the casing has been split open to view the internals the depiction shows liquid entering the pump at the impeller eye as seen the rotating impeller vanes impart kinetic energy to the liquid this kinetic energy is converted to pressure energy as the liquid is directed along the volute to the discharge turbine pump a model representation of the impeller diffuser and the casing of a typical turbine pump is shown as seen the casing is not of the volute type let us observe the flow of liquid along two stages of pumping the liquid is centrifugally forced outward by the impeller it is then guided along by the diffuser and the casing and enters the impeller eye of the next stage of the pump across each stage of pumping the kinetic energy imparted to the liquid by the impeller is converted to potential energy along the diffuser liquid at a higher pressure now enters the impeller eye of the third stage and so on this process is continued across all the stages of pumping and finally the liquid is led to the discharge the description is a simplified extract from the centrifugal pump training course developed by yesian rapitec the actual tutorial provides much more detailed explanations with a large amount of interactivity the training course covers the basics and principles api 610 types of pumps and includes a pump troubleshooting guide the tutorial exclusively focuses on multimedia inputs like graphics animation interactivity it is sure to provide an in-depth practical knowledge on centrifugal pumps for more details visit yesian.com